Hello and welcome to Soda Tasting, an online show dedicated to soda reviews and appreciation. I'm Patrick O'Keefe. This is Shasta Cola, and this was requested by Bob Smith. Bob, thank you for the uh, request. I really appreciate it. Thank you for supporting the show. Shasta isn't a brand that I've really been exposed to all that much. I've seen it randomly over the years, but I don't think I've ever tried any of their sodas. And they have really a very large line of different flavors that are available. And you can check out uh, you know, their flavors on their website, ShastaPop.com. But um, you know, Bob requested uh, cola, so that's what we're going to do. This is owned by the uh, National Beverage Company. And I wasn't aware of this previously, but Shasta's history goes all the way back to 1889 when a group of businessmen opened a health and vacation spa at the base of Mount Shasta, which is part of the Cascade Mountain Range in California. Uh, they sold naturally carbonated spring water, and it was well received, so they started to bottle it and sold it under the name of Shasta Mineral Springs Company. In 1928, new management came on board, and the name of the company was changed to Shasta Water Company. In the 1950s, they became the first to use cans for soft drinks and introduced the first low-calorie soft drink, so that's pretty historic. And in the 1960s, they were bought by Consolidated Foods, which eventually became Sara Lee. Finally, in 1985, National Beverage Company acquired the brand, and that's where it resides today. All these details were from the uh, Shasta website, ShastaPop.com. So let me show you the, uh, the Shasta can there, Shasta Cola. Family trusted Shasta, little mountain logo since 1889. Okay, let's take a look at the nutritional facts here. In 12 ounces, you have 130 calories. You have um, 40 milligrams of sodium, 33 grams of total carbohydrates. This is a 12 ounce can, uh, 33 of which are sugar. The ingredients are carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, caramel color, phosphoric acid, caffeine, natural flavor, and sucralose. Distributed by Shasta Beverages, a national beverage company, Hayward, California, 9594545, shastapop.com. So 130 calories, it does have caffeine. I don't know how much exactly. I Googled and you know there were some websites I couldn't really verify, so I emailed them directly, and if they get back to me, I'll have that in the description of this video. And it's sweetened with high fructose corn syrup and sucralose. Sucralose is commonly sold under the brand name of Splenda, and that's maybe why the calories are only 130, um, where most colas tend to be a little more than that. I bought this at a uh, Dollar Tree. It's kind of a light generic cola smell. Uh, nothing really stands out to me about it, uh, right or wrong necessarily. It's just, it's just there. It just smells like cola. For whatever reason, Shasta kind of reminds me of RC Cola. Um, I think I kind of prefer RC Cola, but there's just a similarity there in, in the... I don't know, the little note of citrus in there, the fact that it's kind of a, and I could be totally off with the RC comparison without having RC for a, for a little while here, not too long though. Um, and it's kind of, uh, you know, not terribly sweet, a little bit sweet, a little bit tangy, um, kind of more on the maybe bitter side of colas to me a little bit, again, with that little citrus bite, the little note there. There's something in the sweetness that kind of goes after my tongue that I don't like and kind of, uh, I don't know, lingers maybe a little bit. And I don't know, I want to attribute that to the sucralose, I guess. It's not too bad. I mean, there's, sucralose is the last ingredient, so I doubt it would impact it all that much. But that's that's kind of what I get is a little bit of that awkward sweetness to me. Um, beyond that, it's kind of an okay cola. I would say, call it a mediocre cola. Um, the flavor is, uh, you know, fairly strong, I would say, for what's there, uh, which, again, is that kind of tangier uh, cola. Just me personally, though, I find it to be a mediocre flavor. Um, not a big fan of it. Not something I would drink again. Not bad, not great, mediocre. Two and a half out of five is where I want to put this. Are you a fan of the Shasta brand? What variety should I try next? They have a lot, and I've only seen a few near me, but I, I'd definitely be interested in trying more of them, so I'd like to know what should I try next. Please let me know in the comments on YouTube or on SodaTasting.com. Thank you for watching, and as always, everything in moderation.